Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. In my previous video, I covered the requirements needed to apply for the PE exam. In this video, I'm going to take you through the first five steps of a 10-step process of applying for the PE exam and show you how to complete your application. Please note, information in this video was taken from various sources, including PE exam coach, which I will provide links to in the description of this video below. Now, before I walk you through the process of applying for your PE exam, please remember that there will be slight differences in the process depending on which U.S. state you are applying to. Most states provide application process checklists on their respective state board websites. So please be sure to check with your state board for specific information. The general process for applying for your PE license in most states is as follows. Step one, review application instructions. Instructions are available online at the state board's websites. Review the instructions thoroughly before diving in to ensure that you fully understand the specific process for your state. All of us have ripped open a box for a new toy, game, or piece of furniture and attempted to assemble it without reading the instructions. And many times we don't get it right the first time around. But applying for your PE exam is not an activity to attempt without first reading the instructions in detail. Because getting it wrong the first time means you'll have to go through a long and difficult process at least twice. Step two, create an account with NCEES. Once you register with NCEES, you will be issued an NCEES ID number to be used when taking the PE exam. You may be asked to provide it on your license application. Now, you may have already received this number from when you registered for the FE exam. Be sure to keep this number in a safe place where you can easily find it when needed. Step three, Create an account with your state board. Creating an account with your state board is an option in some states. Doing this, if an option, will allow you to save your application process and check the status through the state's website, making the process easier. The biggest benefit of taking this action is that it makes it easier to work on the application little by little as opposed to having to tackle it all in one sitting. Step four. Complete your PE license application. Okay, so now you have to complete your application. Use your state's online portal if available or print and mail the documentation to them. Some states require the original application to be mailed to them, not by email or fax. So let me quickly run through the information that the state boards typically require on the application. Again, this is for most states, not all of them. They require a completed application form fingerprinting, identifying information such as your social security number or your driver's license number, license and or exam verification if you're currently licensed in another state and you're applying by comedy, official sealed college transcripts. Please note your college must send them directly to the state board. There may be a fee by your college to provide this service. Experience record and reference forms. These forms are a combination of a detailed description of your engineering experience and a personal character evaluation of you by a reference. This is how the board will verify that you have a sufficient quality and quantity of experience to be licensed. They should indicate that you are of sound moral character, competent, and worthy of a license. Each state calls these forms something different, but they all serve the same purpose. Next. Foreign students may be required to provide the following additional information. Proof of proficiency in English. Translation of foreign degree. NCWS credentials evaluation can provide this service. Verification of lawful presence form. This document shows that you are in the country legally. They also may require some additional information to be sent in by the applicant if applicable such as waiver of exam form, proof of last name change, commercial evaluation of non-accredited degree, 
certified court documentation, including statement of explanation for any criminal issues indicated in your application. Lastly, your application may require notarization in some states. If so, print the application and have it notarized by signing it in the presence of a notary public. Step five, pay application and state fees. Application fees range from $80 in Texas to $377 plus in New York. The board's website will detail the fees associated with applying for your license and taking the PE exam. The Department of Veteran Affairs through the GI Bill may allow you to be reimbursed for your PE exam fees. Contact the VA for more information. I hope you found this video helpful. In the next video, I will cover the last five steps that you will need to take when applying for your PE exam. Past the PE exam videos will publish weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please, I encourage you to ask questions and leave comments below this video, and I will respond to you. Let me know if there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a specific question that you would like answered. Pass the PE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam.